Hey everybody, this is Andrew Bard with EcoRide Kick Scooters here in BGC. <clears throat> the uh, owner, lead design engineer, I don't really like titles kind of guy. So anyway, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, one of the things, I, I get some questions on this. Why did we put a metal undercarriage on the bottom of our scooter instead of the plastic one like the Xiaomi has and a few other models? And on top of that, why is it curved? Because, you know, it does add a little bit to the weight and it does add a little bit to the work if you ever want to work on it. So why is it curved and why are there so many screws? Well, the metal undercarriage is because when I did my research on the scooters and I found that scooters in this price range had plastic on the bottom. Understand, this is where scooters, sorry about that. This is where scooters put their battery. So your battery is right inside here and this is where most of them put it. Some of the Segways put it in the in the steering columns. Xiaomi's put it down here. We put it down here. Uh, it lowers your center of gravity which makes a little bit better ride. So I like it down on the footboard. But the reason why we made it metal is because I was finding a lot of complaints online about rocks puncturing underneath the plastic and then damaging the battery. And, and here's the problem with that. You say, okay, well I just get a new battery. But if it punctures that you're not under warranty. That's not Xiaomi's fault that you ran into a rock and you punctured it. So it's not a warranty covered item. So you're on the hook for that new battery. So we wanted ours to last as long as possible. So we made a metal undercarriage here. And also, instead of stopping the undercarriage here where we had a nice rough edge that came straight down and then rocks as they come along and, and whatever you're running into would, would bump into it, hit it, what have you. Uh, we made it curved here with the idea, and as you can kind of see here where the rocks hit, they don't scrape along the bottom, typically causing damage all the way down the line. I haven't washed this, by the way. This is exactly as I turned it over from riding it yesterday. They hit here and they typically deflect down. They hit and they go down, they go away, they go away from the scooter. So the chance of them damaging the bottom of the scooter has become minimized because now there's no edge for them to catch and there's nothing for them to, to grab onto. So anyway, just to answer that question, why do we have it shaped the way it is and why is it made what it is? Well, there's your answer. So. Uh, if you have any questions, you can head over to EcoRide PH or EcoRide PH on Facebook. Send a message, and there's a really good chance if you message us on the EcoRide Facebook page, you're going to get me directly. So, anyway, have a good day. See you later.